Yeah. I'm so fucking there. Yeah. 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 Oh! Yeah. You go! Welcome! How could. Oh! 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 Oh!
He's I mean, like he's really beside himself. Well, the entire staff of this show. This <laughs> is this is a YouTube clip that we we had God, a long. So we found a long time ago in the favorites. God, it's uh, so good. How can she slap? You could find that on YouTube. But um, <laughs> this fucking video. Uh, this guy is so scared at the end, and that's him, like, kind of crying, because the entire staff, and rightly so, starts beating the shit out of this guy! Well, yeah! <laughs> he I mean, slapped they, the host yeah, back! Yeah, I mean, well, she gave him... Listen to the smack she gives him. It's not turned up. Oh, can you slap? That's... Ooh, oh, can you slap? That's... Actually, that's a slap he gives her, to be correct. Uh, oh, no! Now I'm confused. Are you pulling Super it up, Ryan? I want to watch it again. Can you bring it over into this? Bring it over into this What are you doing? Make what it up. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't do two things at once, Brian. These okay. guys. Back up a sec here. <laughs> we'll try to do this one at a time. I'm going to real quickly switch to our main and let me go back over to desktop. What's this? Yeah, okay, cool. Full size that thing. Boom, when I do that. Boom. Oh, Whoa, wow, it's trippy. Nice. Cool. Okay, right? Right. Are you cute? I uh, think this will work. Close enough. Hit it. Don't have tongue. No, really, they can't talk. Fabian, want to say something? No. Cute. They keep hurt gay. Idiot. Oh, this is off of Live Leak, Brian. Right. Yeah, yeah. These guys Do you have, have this no Twitch up on your there. phone? Can we make sure we're streaming? I'm telling you guys, oh, yeah. have absolutely no reaction. I okay. think it's there. At I least our commentary can. Thanks, guys. Uh, Isha. Uh, Isha. I think you uh, didn't show your challenge. There's not one word coming out First of my First of all, this looks like the most boring the show. I don't know if this is behind the scenes. Talk with you, actually. Oh, here it comes. Off, then. You go. You go. And the smirk. Oh! oh how can you slap? Jesus fucking! How can you slap? Oh my god. How can she slap? Oh, she's how like, she, she stands there rocked now. Oh, and that guy's beating the shit out of him. Oh, that might be, that might be her boyfriend. How can you slap? I'm fucking so, like brother or something. You fucking fuck. Oh, I mean, the entire staff goes to fuck this guy. Well, yeah, I think there's another, the, the guy in the vest there, I never really paid attention to that before. Uh, the guy in the vest there is the only one who's trying to hit him. That's it. Like, yeah, yeah, see that guy? He's the only one trying to hit this dude. So that's the sound of her. Wow. That, no, that's the sound of him slapping her. I mean, he got her twice as hard. He, uh, he... He maybe didn't sign up to get assaulted, but look at that. He got hit twice as fuck, or she got twice as hard. Uh, sister fucking wow. inbred. Yeah, oh, I've they translated. I've never watched this I've much of it. I've never seen this Wow. Much you know, of it. Yeah. I don't condone the violence we'll get the rest kicked of this off of clip. Yeah, we, we'll just go ahead and <laughs> close that now. No, I just don't want to get claimed for someone else's... Uh, in someone else's copyright. But wow, yeah, I never, Damn. I never really saw that much of the video. That, that's a that new, that's a new upload booked. because, as you see, the, the video quality changed. Yeah. And the audio I actually pulled here. How can this happen? How can this happen? It's muted. You can tell in this part. Why don't you go and then? Yeah, they cut off. So I, I could only find an edited version uh, when I went hey to go guys. find it. But you know. That's the internet for you. It's all about getting Ooh. tuned in and toned down, and that's why you're here with us. You get a little history of how can she slap? Yeah. Um, Shouts out to everybody in the PPS chat. Uh, made out of babies. Great name. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's catching the PPS for the first time in a long oh, time. Oh, shouts the f out. Shouts out to anybody who has never caught the PPS before. Dude, Welcome. I'm way into making babies. Bro. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm pretty excited. We just had our 500th podcast yes. on Sunday. We introduced a brand new set on the Mega 64 podcast. We have grown up. We are coming at you stronger, harder, better, faster. That was so fun. That, that was a great that fucking episode time. 500, man. I mean, I, I could not... Uh, I, it didn't really dawn on me until a week out. Hey, the set's done, and it's in time for 500. Like, I didn't know... Rocco yeah. didn't give us a real heads up on any of that, so all the videos were a surprise. It was such a fun night, and I know he put a lot of work in that. Him and Sean, especially. Yeah, no, um, they... Sean was the one who really built a lot, if not all, of the set, and kind of checked in with everybody, uh, it, similarly to the way he did uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so, shouts yeah. out to Sean. 
uh, really, really did a great, great job bringing that set to life. Shouts out. Yeah. But uh, here we are. Enough about Mega 64 Podcast 500. Ooh. We're at a monumental PPS 289. Ooh. So that's 289 episodes. That's uh, We're almost halfway there. We're more than halfway there, Brian. Ooh, and we're definitely not living on a prayer. And no. I just dropped the wrong link in the chat. So that's okay. Oh, we'll drop the right link in the chat. Trying can... to put it for the Discord so people can call into the PPS that's... Discord. Join that and have fun that's with That's exactly what we're looking Jump for. Jump in the chat. You know, what I found out is that... Jesus. No slaps. No slaps. No slap zone. Uh, what I found out is that yeah. actually a lot of the people in the PPS Discord hang out in the waiting room, mics open, and have conversations. So That's a I, good idea. Yeah, yeah. So they're chilling during the show, having their own little chat. I like that. I do too. Yeah. Um, in the chat, I like that. I've got a knife, Brian. Ooh. It's I like time that. to unbox. I wanted dramatic. There we are. It's time to unbox. I gotta do a little slice. I did the other two on the side. Save the virginal slice. Boom. Right there. No Ooh. no, no crescendo. Wow. You're, you're left empty handed. No, this is the crescendo. I'll Look give you a little this. Beautiful colors. I've gotta say, I have not seen one of these in person yet. And for those of you who don't know, if, you, if you're just coming to the Mega 64 universe, if you're just becoming a Mega 64 followers of the PPS, oh, love yeah. SNK. Loved Neo Geo growing up. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Growing up in California, we had yeah. every single Mexican food place had a Neo Geo. That MVS. Multi cart. Yeah. Played so much Metal Slug, so much King of Fighters. And uh, people it. will recognize from our older podcast sets, too, back in our previous studio, we had a four uh, banger MVS yeah. cartridge. Oh. Or was that a single? No, that's Those... a single cab. Right? Yeah, four bangers were expensive. Yeah. We got, a, we got single cabs. Uh, the guys got me one for the hardcore. Yeah. Might remember way back uh, as Lucky like duck. as like a thank you for working on version three stuff. I think they've they've hooked me up over the years with a couple consoles and that arcade machine as well. Mm. Uh, that I still so lucky. Uh, yeah, so happy to have that. Um, I, I want one of those so bad. Oh, the, uh, a uh, cabinet, a, yeah. a legit one. Something so to play bad, those MBS but, carts. Uh, you could get the carts pretty cheap on eBay too. I, I would just get like a big ass multi cart. Honestly, I wouldn't care about the, the four, authenticity. The four bangers are, are pricey, yeah. but it's easy to just reach in there and you plug that big cartridge in. Yeah, that's so. Cool you gotta have too. them long. You gotta have them long arms, and you can swing in. Uh, arms. Like an orangutan. Okay, now this Ooh. is an official unboxing, Brian. I don't know. I like that. <laughs> We, uh, I think we've talked about the SNK Mini, uh, the Neo Geo Mini, sorry, um, a few times before. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of our friends are having a blast with theirs. I know, my buddy Rod got one, Eric got one. This thing's been pre-ordered for months, uh, through Amazon with me, and then it showed up and has probably sat around for, I don't know, two weeks. Oh, dude, I would have opened it up right away. Well, I have been I so busy so bad. with all of the stuff we're doing here at Mega64 and, uh, getting ready for game days. Yeah. Uh, game I've had, soon. I've had stuff just sitting there, so we were kind of thinking about, like, what game we we wanted to play today and it dawned on me like oh fuck i haven't even opened up the neo genie oh this is really nice i'm getting distracted by Jesus. how shiny and I'm new it so is i'm so excited i've never seen one of these in person i want one of these so bad i just haven't been able to get out and get one and of course the one you know the japanese uh model set yeah. one is the one i want and that's hard See, to find and that's got a different set of games correct uh i don't know if it has a different set of games but i know it has a different exterior but I love that you can customize this whole thing. Like, the, the above the screen, you can put a four-game plate like they would. There are stickers oh, really? for the sides. Oh, really? Is there stickers for that? Or, or like, little add-ons. Like, this thing is so fucking cool to somebody who loves Neo Geo. Me? Yeah. That, like, man, like, Ooh. they announced it, and I just couldn't... I didn't have enough money at the time to pick it up. There's a power... I got a USB-C And then, likewise, power. it's like, oh, man, this thing is so fucking cool. I love... Uh, I love Neo Geo. I love the logo. Oh, excuse me. I wasted Damn. that one. Oh, yeah. There are stickers for the yeah. uh, the top cabinet. Yeah. There's like around... I think you can even put them around the um, the joystick and the buttons. Oh, we'll I, have lo to... I love that, man. I'll have to do that. It's got a headphone port and a... This is where they get you, though. It's got a mini... Not micro, but mini HDMI cable port in the back. So you have to have their proprietary cable or if you have a mini to HDMI cable. Yeah. Or if you're like... Uh, Mega 64 and you run a production studio you have 
uh, these type of adapters kind of laying around. So luckily I just borrowed something from the podcast set here. Um, but let's not plug it into the PPS yet. Okay. I want to get, I want to get like a startup on this, Brian. Ooh, you want to go native I, screen. I want to go native oh, screen. Man. I haven't seen, ooh, a blue, a blue ring ooh. here at the bottom. Oh, it says 40th. Man, that's a nice 40th LED. 40th anniversary. That does look nice. And the little logo's coming up. So... With the Super Nintendo Mini and the Nintendo Classic, or whatever they're calling those. Yeah. I got the Nint NES Classic. Oh, that's wow. nice. It's oh. sound. Listen to that. Oh, and it's in the front. Oh, beautiful. Hey, oh, check that out, bro. Dude. Uh, oh. With, ah, with those other sword. consoles, you got to hook them up to the TV, and that was the experience when you were a kid, too. But with this, I love that, like, I never could afford... I mean, I don't know anyone who could afford that home... Neo Geo. No, that no. shit was like crazy. If people don't so know, expensive. it was like consoles were a couple hundred dollars. That came out and it was like a thousand. And it was like, what the fuck? And they were like, hey, I mean, this is pro level. This is like, are you a fucking. Why no are you a pro level gamer or are you a pussy? Oh, guess you're a pussy. You can't afford the Neo Geo. It was like they marketed it that way in the. Uh, Ooh, was that night. early 90s? Uh, had to be. Yeah, yeah, it kind of was. Neo Geo's for, like, had kind of an aggressive campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the U.S., uh, did they have an aggressive campaign in, in uh, Japan as well? No, in Japan they loved the Neo Geo. Of course, because they didn't have to defend it uh, yeah. like they did. You're, you're an uphill uh, battle starting over here. Um, Is it like a like you probably just said it like a thousand dollar machine? Then the yeah. games were like a hundred bucks. A couple, I think. Yeah. So it was it was nuts. It, it but, was nuts. This is so. But cool. back to why I I uh, I really appreciate that you know my experience with the Neo Geo. Uh, and SNK as a whole company was mainly through arcades. Like you said, dude, taco shops, laundromats. And the fact that this has its own screen and that this is an arcade, mm -hmm. I'll probably use it in this mode most of the time. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's awesome that, it, I mean, it would be a bad idea to release it without <laughs> HDMI capabilities. In fact, it should have a big HDMI port on the back. Eric got one of these, and I think he keeps it on his desk so yeah, he can just play at work. And he got it like when when I end up getting one of these eventually, because I know I probably will. Yeah. Um, I'll get a controller with it because that fighting control or that pad, the yeah. ne the Neo Geo pad is the perfect pad for fighting games. It's a an it's like an inset analog stick. Um, and you know, I wanted to bring something up because I was thinking about this earlier today hmm. uh, about. God, I want to say like six Boom, years ago. On. No, yeah, six or seven years ago, Neo Geo released something that was effectively like the Switch. It was called the Neo Geo X. Um, and shouts out to Jake GC in the uh, from Game Cult in the oh, chat. Yeah. He's actually here uh, joining us tonight. Our GCP it, boys taught me, Martin and Jake taught me a lot about uh, that Neo Geo console yeah, when I first got it, talking that, to those guys. It's actually very appropriate that he's here because uh, he and I bonded over the fact that both of us had a Neo Geo pocket. Uh, and a pocket color. Um, and 30, oh, 40 games. Yeah, that's a that's lot, a of, lot games. of games. That's a lot of games and a lot of good ones. Yeah, um, that's, that's let's and, let's jump in with one of my favorite, what I have in my home console right now, Metal Slug. Oh, uh, yeah, the first one? You yeah. Number one? Uh, let's go with number one. Let's just see how it looks. Yeah, you could do Magician's Lord too. Now, hold on, there's some settings right out the box. I want to turn, I want to make sure smoothing's off. That, that kind of smooths the pixels out. Yeah, and then um, screen. Which, we could turn it on later and look at it. It kind of, interestingly, looks like a um, like a painting. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, let's let's stretch this motherfucker. Or you want to maintain 4x3? I would say maintain 4x3. Yeah, we've got the PIP. Please. Let's keep it accurate. Make sure we're accurate. Um, Go yeah, ahead, you were saying? I, heard, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, it's shit. SMK, though, and how much I love it. You and Jake were bonding. Oh, yeah, we bonded over this. But, oh, yeah, so one thing that I wanted to point out, if you guys remember the Neo Geo X, came, it was something that they were talking about back in uh, I am so fucking like 2012. Kevin, Kevin remembers the X. No and one it, else does. And though. it looks like a giant iPhone. It looks stretched. It's No, it's just like a big ass fucking thing and it has the yeah. Neo Geo controls built into it. No, I meant it. the screen looks oh, stretched. Oh. Like. <laughs> um, but yeah, no it, it basically did what the Switch does. It, no it came slug. in a Neo Geo, uh, like a original looking Neo Geo case. Yeah. You put it in there and it connected to your TV and it was just this little system with a flash card on it and it had all the Neo Geo games on it. 
I do shit. remember... And then you'd unplug it and you could take it with you, or you'd plug it in and that was technically the system. And you could get a giant uh, peripheral, or you could have, like, you know, the, the controllers. Yeah. I mean, dude, this looks just like... My fucking cabinet at home with my CRT in it. Yeah. I mean... The, the, the controllers are a little tight. Yeah, that's because... why I definitely want to get a controller. I, see, I don't know. I, uh... The controllers are expensive. Hey, does anybody who have this... Sorry, I'm going to cut you off right here. And yeah. I'm going to be cutting you off probably a lot. This is, this is something I know a lot about. Sorry, right, I wasted all my grenades. Uh, no, that's fine. Heavy machine gun. Uh, is this in the American cabinet? Is it all white blood instead of no. regular color blood? Or is that oh, a wait. setting you have to turn on? Yeah, why is the blood white? I mean, or, like, fire do, do you death. have to get the Japanese insult? Fire death is so much Did worse. Did I say insult instead of import? Yeah. That's weird. It's good. I hope our game audio isn't too loud. It feels very loud. I'm gonna check this. Get out of here, these fucking stormtroopers here. I think they're just gonna uh, auto spawn. Yeah, I know it was white in the what in the U.S. release, Project Why Not, but I mean, ne like oh now God. with these releases, did they make it? Uh, is the Japanese one red for blood, or is it gonna be white? Because I will, I'll get the cabinet that has. Turning black. game audio down now. I don't know why that seems a little loud to me, bro. Oh, you're gonna get bombed. Oh, I got this guy. About me, this is perfect. People kind of uh, in reviews complained about the analog controller because it doesn't click. Like it's not the micro switches like a cabinet. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like it works pretty great. And I know the controllers that you buy, uh, like to add on, like you were talking, Brian. Those have the same kind of. It's all loose analog. It's not okay. like a uh, clicky kind of stick. Okay. Which uh, I, I I don't mind. The difference. I, I know I, this yeah, is. I get used to it. This is all kind of emulated, right? So I mean, they do get the frame rate slow down though, as more shit's on the screen. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just the Neo Geo. Oh fuck! You dropped rocks on yourself. I did. Um, in in you, the PIP. You can go screen. into the test menu and turn blood on, or you can change the version of the game. How do you change the version? Is that probably the in game? the menu somewhere? See, the cool thing about the uh, the place or the the Nintendo Mini was save states and all that. Yeah, I think this... Does this have something like that? or is it I don't know, because that's what I was just doing, was hitting all the buttons here. If you press uh, start and select at the same time, does that do anything? Oh, Brian, look Ooh. at that. Save, load, screen, Go image to optimization. Go off. to screen, maybe. Well, we were on screen. What do we got? Oh. Boom. That's what we want 4x3. Don't yeah. stretch. Shrink. Oh. Okay. Or you probably want stretch. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's it. That's oh, perfect. Three. Perfect. Well, whatever. That was but better. But I didn't see version. Maybe that's yeah, like so maybe that's before on the menu. Yeah. But hey, that that does actually look really good for uh... not stretched now. Yeah, that looks just like the game. That's, that's beautiful. Oh shit! Oh shit! Here we go. Dangerous perp makes a point. Both did look super good. Nitro Dub says it looks perfect. Oh. I want to get into like. Uh... A little of each Metal Slug, like Metal Slug X, where they started getting really cool enemies, like the aliens and stuff. Yeah. I don't know when those actually came along. That but, came oh, in chicken. three. Three is like known for within, being wild. For for being one of, if not the best two D shooting game. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Like it just uh, the analog stick. You have to point in the direction of where you shoot. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I was aiming about the ground before. Yep. Thank you. Um, but yeah, 3 is absolutely incredible. They're all good. There's not one that's bad. Um, damn, it's so Thank cool. You. Thank you. Could unload your uh, bombs. Yeah. Boom! Boom! You have 22 bombs. Oh gosh. I think right you can jump time. back in. I could jump back in, right? Boom. Oh. Rocket now you have rockets, so. Rocket launcher. You, you All right, mean, game over. Well, level over. Three is hard. Jake says three. Metal Slug three is hard. Is that one of the hard ones? Uh, I mean, yeah. It's it's longer than the others, by quite a bit. 
It's the like, problem with the room being so dark, I can't see what's A, B, C, or D. Well, it's, uh... The, the, and these four are set up in a different orientation, I heard. A, B, C, D. So it's... A is top I, left. I can kind of see it now yeah. if, I, if I get real close. Uh, Brian, do you want to give a round of Metal Slug 3? Oh, damn, and Metal Slug drop 4? a Discord call in right before us. Okay. Oh, you want to go four? I, I want to play some of these ones that people haven't seen. Where like can you maybe eat? Five or... When when can you eat a lot of uh, chicken? And I want to say it's around get, five or four or five. I'm gonna play plump. four because I've never really. You can take into more that damage, one. but you're slower. Party the Han. Good, good trade. Party you're on. Oh, so oh what up, guys? See if you can find a different version. That's oh, what they were shit. saying too. Oh, oh, too yeah. late. What's no, up? Uh, we can do this. What's up, Mr. Han? I go, man. Oh man, I think I'm a little bit behind. Oh, oh dude, no, you're on top of the ball. You're with us, joining the PPS on a hot Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's at Mega. Yeah, so this is Playmore. This is the company that uh, SNK got bought out by. Uh, so all the properties were purchased by uh, company. SNK Playmore. Well, they turned it into Playmore because it was a it was a more recognizable, or they combined it because it's more recognizable as SNK Playmore. This villain was always based on Saddam Hussein, correct? I think so, yeah. I do too. As um, were a lot of fighting game characters based off real people, like Tyson and Bison. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. yada, yada. But anyway, the Han, you remind me of the guy with the claws in that Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> uh, not, not too familiar with that. But, okay, uh, well, like he's it. got claws, and, you know, he gets him. He gets Lee. Gets him in the chest, gets him in the left peck, gets him perfectly on the cheek. Han I mean, stars... I like a good action movie, I'll... He looks like a little mini Wolverine. Actually, there's probably a SNK character that looks like it's based off that. Isn't there a guy named Claw in King of Fighters, Brian? Uh, no, you're thinking of Choi. Choi! That's who I'm thinking of. We'll get to that. But, right now, we're with you. And Brian's getting on? busy. How was, uh, 500? 500 was a blast, man. I, I had a super good time. Uh, I had a great time watching it and all awesome. your guys' favorite moments. That was good reactions all. Cool, man. Thanks. Yeah, I think Sean even was happy to stay late with us. Yeah, that was surprising. How did it sound? You guys did it look for like three hours. Did it look and sound uh, like a nice little uh, step up? You got some new equipment oh. we were working with? It was awesome, uh, you know, besides the technical failures with Rocco at the beginning. Oh, but... yeah, yeah, you know, you, get, you cut out that first two minutes, you don't even know. <laughs> what What is it with, like, electronics and live streaming that you test everything and you leave it all on and you're like, all right, well, you know, five yeah. minutes, we'll go live, we'll just hit that button, go, and it's... everything will work like it did before, right? It literally worked two minutes. Right? When we did the test before that. And we're moving the mics around because those new condensers, man, we can move. As long as you don't touch that mic pop filter, you can move the stand around. You can get it up on. I mean, you gotta get it up on your ass uh, or your mouth, I should say, not ass. I'm so fucking Kevin. Um, but I'm glad you enjoyed episode 500, and I'm glad that the clips were satisfying. Um, I'm glad that everyone knew how to push everyone's buttons, even on the new set. It felt like a brand new home, and I'm happy to be yeah. home. Yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah, I home. love it. I love the new yeah. set. It's a sweet looking set. Sean did a great job on it. Hell yeah. Uh, now, Brian, what character are you playing with? Here? I'm playing as Trevor. Trevor, the silver haired fox. Yeah. I like when he has those two MP5s. Sidecar here. Pretty dope. Um. So we still got white blood, or is it just universal? Yeah, it's white blood And this right is now. four? Yeah, or, yeah, either that or five. I forgot which one I think. Well, you didn't go for three, because it's too hard, I see. Oh, there's my homie! Oh, that's Ray! Or Dan, what's his name? I feel like everybody's seen enough of three that, you, you know... Get it. Let's Let's show you guys something you ain't ever seen. Okay. You get it. Oh, rutabagas, what are those? These POW hippies, has everyone, has anyone ever cosplayed as a Metal Slug POW? Yeah, I've seen a couple of people who are pretty cool. Really? You I've, don't see it a lot. I feel like that would be very recognizable, but yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it. I'd have to do the image search that one. You ever cosplay, uh, Han? You should. Yeah, what's up? You, you ever cosplay, Han? Uh, I do not. Oh, you should, uh, you should cosplay as that guy Han from that Bruce Lee movie with the claw. Or maybe you should uh, cosplay as Ichiro. Damn it. 
Uh, what is it? Lee? L Lee! From, uh, Jan! Yeah? What was the claw guy? What is it? What? In Choi? KOF? Choi. Yeah, Choi! <laughs> Han? <laughs> well, before we let you go, uh, Han, not Choi, do you have any final thoughts? Final thoughts? Uh, so let me lay this on you. I was just at McDonald's, and Indeed. there was no line. And the guy turns around, it was remodeled, and they're like, Hey, uh, why don't you check out that self-checkout? And I was like, dude, you're right in front of me, just take my order. Lazy. Uh, and he kept pushing it, but I was like, no, I'll just give me the quarter pounder, uh, uh, just ring it up, and uh, here's some money for you. But, uh, he didn't think want... about that? Like, well, I would, you, uh, I would think people are upset that automation is going to take away their jobs. But this guy seems all for it. I don't know, it could be he sees the wave of the future and he's like, yeah, I'm ready. I want to I want to uh, show my robot master overlords that I'm on their side and you know, he's trying to promote, he's trying to push the narrative of the touch screen POS. That's point of sale, not piece of shit. Okay, Brian. <laughs> I know that. He's trying to push, detail. he's trying to touch that, he's trying to touch that screen, baby. He's trying to push that POS. And you you want that human interaction. You got out of bed this morning to have a real life experience, am I right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, it's like... And you're I not gonna get that with a uh, flashlight. The whole retail thing is an experience, you know? Like, you don't need it with a flashlight. No, in the same way you're not gonna get it with a POS terminal. You want Fuck. to talk to the guy, and maybe you want to do a little joke and say, I want a McNasty, like he's never heard that one before. Maybe you want to make him have a little fun McGangbang. on a Saturday morning. How do you know? I'm getting horny now, just thinking about it. Yeah, maybe you want to egg his mother. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe you meet the love of your life, you two fall in love, move to Florida, drive around, listening to the fucking Beach Boys 24-7, sipping martinis. That's right, drinking and driving in Florida. That's what they do there. I don't know about they, but this guy might. And maybe if he didn't end up in this conversation with the lovely guy over at Mickey D's, he would have never found out, you know, what life truly has to offer. That's true. But thank you for your call, Han. Listen. Yeah, thanks. Damn it, I tried to matrix him out. Well, well we finished that stage. You did, did it. You, let's do a switcher back. Yeah, let's do a switch on back, party on Han. Really? Thank you for your so, good time rolling. Now, I'm thinking, like, you yeah. know, automation, it's coming. It's going to it's mm -hmm. gonna fuck up a lot of jobs. It is. But I feel like I'm safe. Yeah, no, you can't put, you can't. You always gonna need an electrician, like well, we said it, before. When the robots break, yeah, who comes and fixes the robots? I mean, think about that. You are the one who knocks. I, I who is? I is. Garrett Hunter here to uh, help. Let's go. Let's ride out and mm -hmm. exit. Um, oh. now, ooh, King of Monsters, a classic. Classic. So this goes. They have up to five, including X. Yeah. Which is technically what? Well, they throw it in there between two and yeah, three. Yeah, it, it's a. Uh... Oh, act? Is that like a... S uh, no, I think version? that's actually like how far, like progress in the oh, game. Oh, there's Maybe. four acts to each game? I don't know about Maybe. that. Maybe. Shock Troopers. This is know. one I've always heard about. We should play that then? Never played it. Let's there go on the first Shock Troopers. Okay, yeah. Boom. Sounds like a plan. Brian, I leave the voice of our chat in your hands. Oh, okay, good. Now, let's now, see. Let in someone the chat, reach they're out talking about uh, Jordan Jones is condoning robbing a McDonald's. I'm saying do not do that, Jordan Jones. That's, uh, no, you don't want to rob That's not the American because dream. Because then, listen, it's if not. they catch you and they do nowadays, they put you in a cage, bro. And what are you yeah. going to get out of McDonald's? Yeah, man. You're going to you get want... a couple McNuggets, maybe a couple French fries on your way out. Couple you dollars. Can't, you can't get more than what's in the drawer. They don't. They drop hundreds and twenties. You're gonna get like fifty bucks, bro. Everyone yeah. pays the fucking credit cards and Apple watches now. Yeah, dude. Don't do it, George. Don't do it. Hey. I hope we keep him out of jail. Hey, George. Yeah, I know. Hey. I know. We talk about espionage hey. and stealing through Metal what Gear and snakes. Hey. Yeah. But. Don't. Don't. I don't want to be held in contempt. Uh, Brian. Going right. on a sumo lounge. Weird. Anyway, anyway, who do we got on the phone? We have Ultra Kevin. Hopefully, he's just as cool as regular Kevin. Ultra Kevin. What up, Ultra Kevin? I Yo. Almost, Kevin, What's I almost. Going on? Uh, Kevin, I want you to know, I almost picked the difficulty when the screen couldn't see, 
So no one would see that I picked easy. Oh, never mind. I picked manual. Fuck. Hey. It went to goddamn fucking normal. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Stupid. Black, uh, the uh, plan backfired on me. So, whatever. Um, you're here with us now. Yeah, how can we help? How yeah, can congrats we help? on the, uh, big 5-0-0, boys. Lonely Wolf, baby. Um, thanks, man. It was a good time. Big Mama, Maru, Yeah, Loki, I just want to say, um, I do my own podcast, and we're about to hit episode 100, and Dang. you guys were the podcast that got me in the podcast. Wow. Marble me. Uh, that's pretty dope. 100's a big ass milestone. Congratulations, yeah, dude. Is. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you stuck through it for so long. Hell yeah. That's, uh, that's, a, that's almost two years. Jungle yeah, Rat. just about. Yeah. Two years, dude. What have you learned from episode one to episode 99? Well, we're almost at 90 right now, so we're not quite there, Dude, but I would say... She looks like I a female know, solid snake. Like, this is like Sniper listen. Wolf's first mission. Yeah, you go ahead and keep talking. Oh, yeah, listen sorry. Back, you kind of learn. No, it's all right. Uh, listen to back and just kind of learn, learn from your own mistakes, I guess. I don't know, just uh, get better at the banter and the riffing, I guess. Yeah. Who yeah. do you do it with? Two guys? One guy? Uh, a lady? Yeah, it's me and my friend Grant, and we usually have different guests on. Uh, we record from uh, Chicago, so we have like different comedians and stuff. And, and we also do a lot of like Skype and Discord uh, guests. Nice. Nice, man. I, uh, I feel like I have a lot of fun, tell me about you, with the... The learning and the setup and the upgrading of the equipment and like that as a kind of a hobby, being into electronics, consumer level. Yeah, electronics. it's definitely fun. We first started like doing it off an iPhone on a cable. Yeah, yeah. Episodes, but we, you know, we got a little Patreon going. It's not much, but it's enough to buy mics and stuff. Got to do it. Got to get some mics. Somewhere. Hopefully, Apple yeah. will get you the mics. Call up Apple. They do the podcasts, and you can maybe yeah, eventually you'll we, be able to get some of these mics. Oh my god, I'm about to die, Brian. Yeah, you are. But Dude, yeah, so so that's great. Did you already say what your podcast is about? Uh, it's about internet outrage. So whatever weird stuff people are mad about it every single week. Uh, we actually had low tax on this week from something awful. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Nice. So he Shouts was, uh, out. Perfect guy. <laughs> awesome. Laying into that, so. Yeah, low tax he, is great. he definitely seen has, has, has seen his share. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah totally, totally. He, he knows outrage. Jeez, yeah. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, give us a plug, man. What's the name of your podcast? Yeah, it's called Thought Cops, like Thought Police, but stupider. Yeah, uh, I like that. We <laughs> do it every single week. Yeah, it's on iTunes, uh, Google Play, Spotify, uh, we're on Twitter, and all that at Real Thought Cops. Oh hell yeah! So it's Kevin and Grant, and you guys are inspired by the boys and our podcast. Uh, yeah, totally. And, and you can check it out. Yeah, check man. out the hey! Check out the episode with uh, low tax. Rick, with low tax uh, Kianka. Yep. Uh, drop your links yeah, in the in the chat too, man, so people can know where yeah, to find exactly. you. That'll be out. It's not out yet, but that'll be out with the next two or three. Okay, look forward for, to it then. Um, doing some final editing, so. All right, oh, man. Yeah. Well, any any parting words before we let you go? Yeah. Uh, this year I'm going to game days. It's my first game day. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> Game it's days. awesome. It's like, man, it's less than what two weeks away, dude. Yeah, I, and and I'm gearing up. Yeah. I got all my DJ shit in the next room. I've yeah. been uh, been setting up. I even rented some equipment. Ooh, you uh, guys don't even know. Garrett's got some great stuff in yeah. store. For it's you. gonna be it's gonna be cool. It's gonna sound better than ever. It's going to blast your fucking doors. Uh, but it's limited now. November 10th and 11th, and we're like coming up on. I mean, there's still tickets left. Yeah, you can get them at Shop Mega 64. That's for the first day, Saturday, November 10th. Um, discount tickets as well for Disneyland on November 11th. Shop.mega64.com, baby. But yeah, so so Ultra Kevin, uh, did you have any comments or questions about um, game days this year? Or are you just letting the boys know you're going to be there so we can look out for you? Yeah, just um, looking forward to hanging out. Uh, I'm actually meeting some friends from uh, the internet, too, so that should be oh, interesting. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, no, that's that's the best oh thing. God, I always whoa. say this every year about game days, and I always mean it. You know, if you're ever afraid, if you're thinking, you're on the fence about coming, it's it's really easy to to think like, oh, what if I don't, you know, have anything to say, or what if I have nothing in common with anybody? You can come. 
But the thing is, yeah, I'm you, I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped. I mean, I met you guys. Well, I didn't meet you guys, but I met uh, Rocco and Derek and Kevin and Eric back in uh, Chicago at C2E2. Oh, uh, okay, right. nice. Two years ago. Oh, nice. So, That's awesome, you know, man. Oh, flamethrower! This is like a 3D kind of yeah. Someone in the chat said that metal version slug. of Metal Slug. Yeah. yeah, an isometric Metal Slug. Yeah. is what somebody called it. But well, uh, hey, we've we've died enough to see what the deal is. Yeah, it's, it's I say Brian's turn. I think I think that's good. But whoops. Yeah, Ultra Kevin, it's it's gonna be great. Um, I'm glad that you got to see us at C2E2. Now you're coming out to our turf to try a little bit of of our <laughs> flavor. So uh, absolutely, we'll, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be so fun, man. I'm I'm excited. All right, shout out. Peace. See you soon. Yeah, take it easy. I kind of got him. I take watched The easy. Matrix Reloaded uh, just recently. Yeah. That about to go to a commercial. Fucking... You're all using the Valerie line of blowers. He's an excellent blower. I mean, people are just. I, don't, I guess it hasn't moved on up this region of the country yet, maybe. I guess not. We use Rep MD pneumatics, uh, Voltron, uh, Northern blower. Voltron? Uh, you guys use Voltron? Yes, sir. Okay, he assembles good. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't believe you guys don't have the Valerie. It, it, let me tell you, it's one hell of a blower. I've never had an unsatisfied customer with those. Yeah, well, it, well, sometime when you get some information, you'll have to fax it over to us so we take a look at it. I'll fax you all the information, and they're really easy to use. They're the, one of the most easiest systems I, I think I've ever set my hands on. Hmm. Just hook them up, and they go at it, and go, and yeah, and they'll never stop. I mean, you can have as many people in line as you want. Where are they being manufactured, sir? Uh, I think I have. You know what? I, I honestly can't tell you. Where they're manufactured. I think it was in Milwaukee, but I don't know now. Yeah. I know that yeah. closed down. Yeah. Well, a lot of blowing up there, I guess. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Huh, well, all right. Well, my mission to find a Valerie blower continues, I guess. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Oh, Brian, blue screen of death. No, I'm trying to figure out the language, but I can't tell at the bottom which characters are Japanese characters and which characters are... Oh, do are... we have the classic case of kanji or katakana? Yeah. Oh, no, that's... that's. I think that's Chinese. Hiragana? Or oh, are we doing Mandarin and stuff? I don't know. I don't... Oh, fuck. I can't tell I'm which a little is shaky which. I'm trying on to change Mandarin. out the language. Does somebody know is number one or number two Japanese? Try try the first one. You know to, if it's not right, try the second one. Well, I can't tell the difference until does, I... Does that get blood off? Is that what you're yeah, saying? I'm trying to get blood to go. Go on go on the, the after... I think that's Japanese. That, try that one. That looks Japanese. The last two characters look the same. Well, yeah, the, because that, that symbol, the second to last one, means China. Uh, maybe that's Chinese. And that then the looks, last one means That doesn't man, look Japanese to me. I think. But just go back. Let's see. Let's see what we've got to work with. Okay, people are saying the Japanese are into... Wait. No, no they're going to no, tell you some other... Joke. They're going to tell that's you... That's a... You know what? That's a dirty joke. They're going to tell you some other things about Genki. Poop, poop eaten grin. We're going to play some yeah. about Fatal Fury. Um, now, we don't know what region it's in, but it's certainly in a region. It is. Um, now, I've got control of the wireless. I'm going to grab a lovely caller. We always check in with uh, our boy Kip from time to time. <laughs> What's up? Shouts out. The last caller calling in from Chicago, was it? Or no, talking about C2E2. No. <laughs> Wait, I, I've, I've been to C2E2. Yeah, you've been there, but uh, sure. I'm repping the hat right now, so... Check that out. Oh, really? 1995, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, this is when this came out? So, Real Bout is really cool, because this is kind of like the precursor to what King of Fighters ended up becoming. This is like the Street Fighter 1. Well, I mean, before this, they had Fatal Fury. Okay. But this is kind of like what King of Fighters was built off of. This type of... Yeah. Taking the King of Fighters franchise. So, we're going to play as... Is Blue Mary? No. Okay, there's only one person to play as in the Fatal Fury game. Isn't Terry go coming to, uh, what's it called? Fighting EX, uh, what's it called? I Duck heard he King. might against Bob Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Shouts out to Bob Wilson. Shouts out. Uh, you're, you're Duck King, I'm sorry? Yeah, that's the fucking Duck King. Franco man. Bash See looks friend, like... A duck. Franco Bash well, looks like Freddie Mercury. Look at this, yeah. look at this sprite. Is, is he supposed to? Your shadow is flickering. That's some... It's good recreation. But, check, check out this guy's sprite. Watch him dance. I know he's fucking. <laughs> he reminds me of Birdie from Street Fighter, and I hated that character too. The hair and the yellow and blue pastel or whatever 
Those are just those oh, primary oh, colors. Are so are those primary? We'll take that back if they're not. Kevin, edit that out. I am so fucking pissed. God. Uh, Kip, it's it's a yeah. good to hear you again. Thanks. It's a good to hear you again. I what? added an A. I'm I'm sorry. There we go. Far C to crouching D. So, uh, what oh, can we God. do for you? I actually was gonna ask because, uh, Got him. uh, it's very fateful that for this year, uh, the PPS falls exactly on the same day as Halloween. Oh, shouts out! Brian and I, we're gonna be jumping I was gonna ask in. If you guys plan on streaming then? On Next Halloween, week. you know, we always do Resident Evil, so it works out perfectly. It's. Halloween is a Wednesday, so that Wednesday, 7 o'clock, baby, we'll be right here, sitting in these seats, starting the next Resident Evil game. <laughs> now, you laugh because it's supposed to be 6. And Brian and I have talked about our disdain for 6. You did a super. If we, if we can put that off one more year, maybe we'll fit something in that we mine. skipped. Maybe we'll... I don't know, I don't know. The the, the the Resident Evil game is up in the air, but it will be a Resident Evil game. What, what I mean, we it's miss? a good uh, shitty game to play. You can laugh at it, how bad it is. Which one? Six? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, to get through it, really we would have to get really through it. Really good. Got you, play. Bob Wilson. You know, and, and technically, me and Brian thought about this. We could do, because there's so many characters, you could just do one. Because, like in previous streams, you know, Resident Evil 2, for instance, we didn't do Chris, or, uh, we didn't do, uh, Claire and Leon. We just did, I think, Claire? Or do we did sense. Leon? Um, yeah, and the year before, we just did Jill. I've, I, I've never done Chris uh, on stream. So, you know, we could just do it with one of those three characters. There's also the Ada content, too. We'll get to it eventually, but we've skipped some. Now, I haven't ventured off of the core titles, but there is oh, a yeah. numbered, I won't give it away, but there is a numbered title in the Resident Evil franchise that we have yet to play through on Halloween uh, in the five years that we've been doing the show. Yeah, okay. Six years? Zero. I don't know. Uh, what number are we at? Uh, uh, 286? 280, no, 289 today. 288 or 289? Wow. Oh, no, yeah, there's 289. 289. Royce in the uh, chat? Oh, yeah. we don't... Oh, oh really? Wow. Oh. Eric in the chat. Oh. <laughs> Eric was in the chat. Shout out. Well, we you hear from uh, you, Kip. Are you since, coming uh, to game days? Resident Evil 2 Remake comes out uh, this year. Are you going to stream that for Halloween? I think not. It won't be out by then. Wait, I mean, not. I mean, it'll be out within 2019. Next, oh, gotcha. Next year. Well, if we ever come full circle, so we'll have to get through most of the Resident Evil games, and then we can come back and do, you know, ones that we haven't. So I well, think that's a game that you can play when it launches. I think eventually, uh, God willing, Brian and I are still healthy young men, capable of coming to you every get hot Wednesday. Here. I wow. don't know how you could do out of bounds in this. How can you slap, sir? This game is yours. How can you slap her? Look at this. So much um. So now. Franco Bash, there he is. I I think eventually we will play on stream, but probably not to completion. <laughs> uh, to completion, like we do on Resident on uh, Halloween streams. But, you know, like, when that game comes out in January, I'll definitely be playing that on the PPS. Don't you think, Brian? I think so. I mean, Fuck yeah. Why wouldn't we? we, we that's we all we're going to want stuff. to be playing, so... I played Fist of the North Star. That's, like, a current game I'm playing. I almost brought in Survive today because I started playing Metal Gear Survive again. Just Damn. check out... Just check out what's going on. Hey, they, they've updated that game in that's some good ways. That's what you were ways. telling me. I, you know, they I also... some stuff with matchmaking to where even though less people are playing it, you get into a match easier. <laughs> But people, fuck man, people that play that game steal, you know when you're playing multiplayer online shit and someone like steals your kill or steals your power up or runs in front of the thing you were doing yeah, and then I... kills your stealth, like that type of shit happens so much in Survive with I think new shit. players. So that, that you, you always gotta do that, yeah. deal, deal with that. But that's You'll okay. be working on this elaborate trap. You're funneling all these fucking guys into one area where your shit's gonna go, and you're gonna get all these fucking points, and then the other teammate comes ah, in and just sorry, fucking... Sorry, my bad. 
Oh, are you getting heavy handed, Brian? Well, you know, it is kind of. Brian, a little heavy on the hands. Pervert. What are you gonna do? I'm um, into it, man. <laughs> Plane shift on him. Boom. Boom. Look at this. Pressure corner game classic. Oh, he's a boxer. Yeah. Are but, you playing uh, with controllers or is duck this the, the king, the okay? Game? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, anybody. Look, he's got a blue tongue and look that entire time there's been a duck. He looks. Oh, the there is a little duck time. there, brother. Oh my god, brother, brother, big dude. That this guy duck rules. is I so love sick. Duck King. <laughs> he break I think, dances. I think I could dance like that. Eric texted me a week ago and he said me why. He said to me, "Why do you think that this guy got to be the king of all the ducks?" And I said, "Because he's a friend to all ducks." <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He's no Scott Steiner, I'll tell you that. He's like the yep. anti-Scott Steiner. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be like a tag team. Check it out. Those kids, yeah. uh, really great. This is why I love SNK. There is a, like an entire storyline. Those are his kids. They come back. When you play Mark of the Wolves, you get yeah. to play as them. Oh, it's which, those kids oh coming up. God. Yep. So Kim Kapwon and King Dong... No, Kim Dong... I don't know. Jae Hoon and Dong Hwan. Yeah, that's it. They uh, learned from their father, yeah, Kim so Kapwa. Some, so some of them, one of them plays like Kim, but a little bit light, half of Kim, with his own style. The other one plays like a different half of Kim, with its own style as well. And the fact that they are in a game and not Kim, and that's why Mark of the Wolves is so cool, because it took the main line of his story, and then it just slightly altered everybody's characters. Terry is totally different in that game than any other King of Fighters. But yeah, they did that with his kids. Like, the detail that's in these series is really cool. And I forget how to do supers in this game. No. Isn't Geese Howard's son in the Mark of the Wolves? Yeah, he's he's the main character who's been taken in by Terry after killing Geese because he feels guilty for killing this kid's dad. You know, even though he was evil, he still got, you know, family. And, you know, that kid's mom was also killed by uh, somebody as well. And that's kind of why Geese is evil. So Geese is sort of like, not necessarily really evil, um, but I'm glad I lost to Kim, because if Eric is still here... I th look at the kids! <laughs> um, yeah, they're there. I think uh, you were going so deep. If Eric's so still deep. here, that is, uh, that is appropriate, because that's Eric's favorite character. So oh, yeah. I'm happy to lose to him um, by proxy. Hmm. You were going so deep into the lore of uh you know the kids oh and the dude that's, deep, uh, that's is that deep into the orochi saga you were dipping into no that's like that's past the orochi saga Ooh. do you want to open this door because you don't want to open this door no uh <laughs> we'll get there eventually but uh but kip i i uh, am i gonna get to see you this uh this next couple that's coming weeks up so fast it's um, so fast november 11th i know you moved kind of northern right? but are you gonna be able to come down to anaheim i mean it's not i i live Directly north of Anaheim, basically. Oh, hell so, okay. yeah. I, I got no excuse. I just, uh, I gotta, I gotta check my schedule because I haven't. Check your yeah, schedule. Yeah, hey, baby. Because you haven't known it's been on November 10th and 11th. I'm with you, though. I gotta check my schedule, too. <laughs> nah, how I knew it was around then. I should, I should be able to make it before a flight that I have. I just want to make sure I'm not uh, don't, putting yeah, those don't two on the same date. There you go. Yeah, but man. I'll try. I, ho I hope so. Try. It's always great to see uh, all the great faces out there, and it's uh, it, it'd be nice to hang out, talk a little bit, not on the PPS. Yeah, for real. This would be my fourth year in a row. I, oh, yeah. I shouldn't break the uh Don't break uh, the oath. Don't break the oath, bro. Listen, listen. Just the oath that right keeps now, you free. Right now, <laughs> if you don't already know, just search Merciful Fate. Don't break the oath. Oh, it's a good one. On Google Image Search, and just remember what happens if you don't come. <laughs> All right, Kip, thanks for coming up. Thanks for coming. Peace out. Kip's always a good... Love Kip. He's always a good hang. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be able to see him up here soon. Brian. Yes. Dude, it's time to do that fucking beat, baby. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. I'm going to hit it right now. Love games but are low on cash? Trying to get something that always seems out of stock and hate paying someone double or triple the price on eBay? Follow Cheap Ass Gamer on Twitter and Instagram to find deals on video games you want to play. You can even win games and more via Cheap Ass Gamer's many giveaways. Click the links in the description below to begin saving today! <laughs> Dude, beautiful. Here we are, coming back from a uh, quick, quick cool. commercial break. We got... 
We got cheap ass gamer. Dude, we're read. doing we're doing the CAG cheap gaming. Cheap ass gamer. We got CAG on the payroll, baby. Can I, can I do a read? Well, I mean, I mean, I know you just did one. I don't want maybe if we have time, maybe. I mean, I, I lost the sheet. Next week, maybe. I don't know. Maybe next week we'll see, Brian. Oh, what really? happens? Really? Um, yeah. CAG, you know, cheap ass gaming. I love number uh, one. The amount of Thorban tweet. I love that. Uh, emotes that we're getting That's here. That's so beautiful. Um, I don't know if we can pick that up on our camera. Ooh. Nah, I moved. I moved our in. Uh, our analog chat. Our analog chat. Our in-screen monitor. It's it's no longer residing in the sumo lounge. Sumo lounge has been taken up by something. I don't know what's uh, going on over there. Yeah. But uh, back to what do I want to play now? You've you've gone through some fighting games, which yeah. you were definitely into. And I'll probably play some more. One thing... Uh, I would play Last Resort just to be funny. One thing I played a lot of when I was uh, using the MVS cabinet at the place where I used to play hockey. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know, I grew up playing roller hockey. Uh, pretty heavily through the 90s in uh, San Diego and up and down the California coast. Um, <clears throat> it was really big. It was a really big Oh, yeah, man. Hockey sport. was huge here. Roller hockey took over. Took over. There's a lot of rinks, a lot of stuff, and the La Mesa Sports Center, a big domed place that... Look at... Is that Van Damme on the Art of Fighting cover? It no, almost, dude, that's Robert. Almost but looks it's like Van Damme. Yeah, I mean, he was, kind of, he was kind of based after Van Damme. Robert, uh, the Art of Fighting is a game that was made by the guy who originally made Street Fighter. So the director of that game, don't know his name came over to SNK and they made that, uh, they made the art of fighting, which is his idea of, uh, where he wanted the fighting game to go mm. with Street Fighter. So basically he made a character, the main character's name is Ryo instead of Ryu. Instead he of wears Ryu, an yeah. orange gi and there's always these jabs back and forth between SNK and Capcom between them. Well, that's the Dan character. Well, so, for, so for Capcom, exactly. Right? So Dan combines the two main characters of Art of Fighting yeah. into one character. Okay. Cuz Robert, the guy who you thought was Van Damme, uh, is like this suave European guy Whoa. and uh, like this guy, this And yeah, player. so they made him a dope Those with ones. With a lot of the same moves, but just really silly. I but gotcha. What's really cool is that in King of Fighters, they already made a character like that about their own main character. They're so on top of it. They had a character, and he's my favorite in the King of Fighters series, called Shingo Yabuki. Mexico. And, Sh and Shingo was Whoa! basically, what's a grandma doing in there? Mexico let out the war cry, baby. Was that, Barbara, was that Barbara Bush? I think that was. R.I.P. Um... um Go ahead. But yeah, no, basically that uh, that character was making fun of their hero character, like, live in the series. Like, he idolized him and always tried to, like, be really cool, just oh. like his, his master, uh, Kyo Kusanagi. Anyways, this has been... Uh, this is backstory for a game we're not playing, bro. Yeah, I know, because, well, here's the thing. Boom. Stop that. Stop every, that from going every in. Every single Neo Geo game is part of a world. That, oh, yeah. That is 100% accessible by any other property in its library. And that's what makes SNK so fucking cool, is that something that you see in this game will legitimately be in a King of Fighters somewhere. I guarantee you. Especially <laughs> in King of Fighters games, you get a lot of really Ooh, cool... I'm driving up the lane here. Ooh, nice. Shoot it's... ace, shoot! Oh, oh header, what did I do? I didn't know. I hit pass instead. But I guarantee you, like... They had they had the idea of a uh, of strikers in fighting games. So so a uh, assist character in uh, in King of Fighters '99. I guarantee you, there's one. <laughs> Some in soccer here. player. Yeah. Well, I was talking about the good old La Mesa Sports Center, and they had a, a four banger MBS system. Oh yeah. And uh, I loved playing the sports game. They had a lot of sports games. Um, and and typically it was a soccer rink most weekdays, and then hockey on the weekends. And uh, a lot of uh, soccer games always came through, and I was always bad at them. Like now, I still, yeah. well, I don't know. Hard. Well, I don't know how to play this game even. Like, I th I figured out now how to switch my player. The computer automatically kind of does that. I needed to pass up. Oh my god, that was insane! Over the head. Um, Ooh. let's see, let's see. Kick out. I kind of look like the goalie. But uh, tons of like weekends and weekdays hanging out after practice, waiting to get picked up. I would play this Neo Geo cartridge there, yeah. and they had like 
a soccer game, a baseball game. I know it was all sports. It was like one fighting game, but it was something where you used weapons. Oh, they scored on me. No. Go! <laughs> That's, yeah, Spain scored, so yeah. the guy's going to go on. He's still saying it if we... Look, if we click back in, watch, he's still going to be... Oh! Wait, I'm supposed... It doesn't work when I don't hit the right button. Yeah. Oh! Close See? enough. Close enough, Brian. <laughs> Do we have... Oh, my God, there's more celebration, though? There's I, more. I oh, yeah, let's see that. that. Unpause it. Yeah! Boom! Wow. That's what I really love. You know, what I loved about the Neo Geo is that it tried to be real, but it still made it fun and cartoony oh, like yeah. all of the games like look at all of this art and stuff it was kind of cartoony yeah. it's cool uh l let me try another sports title yeah, here please let me just do real quick we'll do two sportsers back to all back. right i wanted I to add this person frenzy. earlier because of this uh of the deco uh call you you made or mm. played uh good old blow j simpson what's going on what with kind of you blower, tonight you use those uh <laughs> ronda blowers which kind of blowers you use Blowjay, you with us? Whoa, is that a cheerleader? Why was she on screen with Peyton Manning? Football uh -huh. frenzy, press start. Did it? Um, I don't know if we've got our boy here. No. We're gonna well, have to, we're gonna have to take off. another one. All right. I'm picking easy. I'm going with Ben. Dude, wolves, scuds. What's a scud? Oh, a missile. Yeah. This is so 90s. Like, yeah. scud missiles from fucking Desert Storm. What are we fuck naming? Yeah, dude. What the, the fuck? Why would you name Neo a team? Geo. Look at all those, like, <laughs> little, like, teams, though. You what's name up, a team ben? Scud Missile. Hey, what's up? Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Uh, I'm at work right now. I'm on my break. Oh, my God. the kick I missed the kickoff. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, like, no, you caught it. I'm like cool little, uh, that's a, dude, that's a really good return. You're like kind of little, uh, cartooned, like kind of dwarfed that? animated characters. That's cool. That's really cool. Everyone was number 88 on the other team. Uh, so, Ben. Ben, I'm going to run play. Go ahead. Um, I don't know what I'm I'm doing. on my break at work. Oh, oh hell wow. This is kind of a special occasion. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that's good. It's always good to get some mental health out of your break and have a oh yeah i uh, really need it this some day. time to you gotta decompress you gotta relax and what a better what let me take that again brian what a Whoa. better time to relax than with us on your break here exactly sitting with the there is not a better place in the world the than the game CBS yeah first and down i'm really taking my time um oh i i biffed it oh oh I'm, I'm out. It? No, I'm, I'm back in. First and down, <laughs> something, something yardage. Well, cool. you, you lost seven yards. Well, all right, so that happens. Go ahead, Ben. We're waiting in anticipation. All right, I got a real zinger for you guys. My question is, did you guys ever growing up have a friend that you considered a good friend, but was never really very nice to you, but you like hung out with them anyway? Hmm. Like, because they were cool or had a nice house, you could go chill with them. I mean, um, whatever the reasoning. Just I definitely had... Like, that kind of person. I definitely had friends of friends that were mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to go over to my friend's house, but then we're going to hang out with, like, the guy who lives next door. Yeah. And, like, I'll put up with it because my friend likes them, but fuck, I don't like hanging out. But, nah, I don't know. Yeah, that that's more the uh, the situations I'd be put in. Be like, yeah, we're going to go over to, uh, to Lucia's house. It's like, oh, great, Lucia. Oh, no, you're calling him out? <laughs> oh, fuck. Nobody would have known that I made yeah, up that name. name if you didn't. Well, I don't know. It sounds like a video game character. So. Yeah, well. well you could have just said I made that name up. I did. Oh, I see. Lucia. I should have known Lucia's it. It sounds watching. like Star Ocean. He knows. he knows you got beef. Gosh, the, you're the one throwing out names because you know the guy. Yeah, I guess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, just just shit like bee. that. Oh. Why are you? Pa where are you I wanted to pass to the B guy. Well, you gotta wait for first and down, play. fourth play. We got football, ten seconds football left. Football is like the easiest sport. Fourth and twenty-four. Dude, let's run. Um, passing play, interception. Huh? But yes, yeah, so Ben. Uh, Mike. <laughs> uh, mostly just what situations of not not being with. Uh, with people I want to be with, I would get myself out of. So. All right, we've had enough football for That's today. That's good. Yeah, because honestly, after a while, those people like oh. really suck, and you just don't oh, want to yeah. deal with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck I them. just always like growing up for whatever reason. I had friends that like 
this girl I've known since I was four years old. She lived across the street from me, so maybe it was like a convenience thing where I had to spend right across the street. But she was always like really like treated me like I was stupid yeah. and kind of convinced uh, me that I was stupid oh, that's when nice. I was younger. And well, but I didn't realize it at the time, but then like looking back, I was like, she was always really mean to me. Why did I hang out with her? Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, you learn so much reflecting back on your life and you always wish that you would have that knowledge back then, but that's there's just no yeah. way, you know? We were all so, we were all so innocent, Ben. Yeah. It was yeah, a, I know. It was we were a just, just little tykes. When was this? Was Alf on the TV still? <laughs> or is this in the era of um, um I don't know what let's it, see. What kids well, younger I'm, than me watch? Uh, sweet I'm much life was younger. I'm, I'm only twenty one, so okay. this was like So you're a sweet life kind of gal. Uh that might yeah. be a little <laughs> Were you, you into been, the DCOs? You might have been young for sweet life, huh? Yeah, Sweet Life was more when I was like an adolescent. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Was it Sweet Life oh, wait, on no, deck no, no, no. or was it uh, OG Sweet Life? Yeah, you doing OG o Brothers. OG, OG Sweet Life was when I was like kind of a kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet Life on deck was when I was like kind of getting too old to watch that stuff, but I still watch it anyway. Yeah, oh, yeah. dude, I want, I've, I've, I've gone on record. I've watched like Disney Channel until I was like 22. Well, that's a little too far oh, for yeah. me. I no, mean, it, it, they know. They they know. I remember, they want you to be watching that, that at that age. Gosh, I remember my must see I TV watched Wizards of Waverly Place from like co to conclusion. Oh, that yeah, show dude. was. I like Wizards. Good. Oh, dude, I just turned into Wizards of Waverly Place like. Uh, no holes wow. barred. This is like, this is like is a good. altered beast. Yeah, I just leveled out. Oh, you talking about Wizards of Waverly Place? Yeah. Um, yeah. Wizards of, yeah, Selena nah. Gomez is on that. No, nah, uh, I don't know about any of that. That's that's. that's she uh, she I know. was a wizard, and hey, then they, listen. you know what? They they had something called like listen, Wiztober or something like. Eric, if you're still in the chat, what was it called? No, dude. What do y'all know about Evie from Out of This World? She was an alien whose dad was a spaceman and mom was human. She had Uncle Bino, she could freeze time like this. No one? What are you talking about? Oh, God, Brian. <laughs> See, I'm just, I'm just on a different wavelength, Ben. It's okay. That's cool. Yeah. You know what? But you did watch Xenon, right? Xenon, no. Oh, Xenon. Is that another DCO? Xenon of the girl, uh, I, the 21st so growing century. Growing up, I like I didn't get Disney Channel and Nickelodeon until like well into my adolescence. So uh, I had PBS growing up, and that's it. Oh yeah, dude, you're watching so, fucking uh, Kai Rizdal. Uh, uh, that's NPR. I watched yeah, like Dragon Sesame Tales. Street. PBS is uh, PBS is still around. You know, uh, I definitely watched PBS when I was a little little kid. And I never, I never watched Brian stuff that he's talking about. I've never seen any of the shit. And I'm realizing now, yeah, I only watched Disney Channel when it was a free weekend. Yeah, well, like, it I became saw, free after a while. <laughs> I only saw HBO when it was like a free weekend. It was like Babar and other dumb shit. And I was like, what is, is this really what HBO is? This is terrible. No, that was just to show you all the things that they had. But no, uh, after a while, Disney Channel became a... Uh, yeah, and I remember that. Like a like a a, a basic cable edition. Yeah, or and something? that's when I was like paying yeah. for cable, so I wasn't watching Disney. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. I was on the Adult Swim. It was, it, at that point, it was just because my parents had cable. I got I my watching. programming from Turner through Adult Swim. At that point, I was doing the um, the uh, adult animation block. Oh yes. Yeah, that's very into the Aqua Teen Hunger Force show. Yeah. Um, now. Ooh. Ben, enough, like enough reminiscing. Ooh, uh, what am I now? Us playing this SNK mini, this Neo Geo mini, I should say, has really just brought us back in time for a sec here. It's getting gross. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about God what's happening. It. Current events. Uh, podcast okay, 500. Current events. Podcast 500 is I come and gone. I'm so sad that I didn't get to tune in. I was working and I tried to get my switch shifted so I could oh, watch and nobody would respond to you me. Tried. So I missed it. Well, you tried. You tried. You tried, Ben, but hey, you know what? You took the responsible route Shit. and you went to work like I you did. gotta do. You gotta do that. Uh, again, this changes to hell. Oh, the darkness has got you. Again, changes to hell, Brian. Fuck. Ben. <laughs> Eric, oh my Eric said God. he knew what you were talking about. That um, when, when you were talking about a second ago, uh, she would swing on a star 
was her theme song in high school. And she touched her fingers together. Yeah, she did it like this. Ding! And then she did it again to unfreeze time. That was her alien power her dad gave her. He's out of this world. It was fucking great. It was a fabulous show. She talked to her dad in a fucking like glass ball uh, beside her bed. She had some kind of like tele telepatronic uh, device or something. <laughs> Um, anyway, Ben, uh, the gates of hell have closed for Brian. I'm going to jump uh, into another game. Maybe a flying game. Let's Ooh, fly around and shoot, shoot some stuff. That'd be good. But, uh, you know, you didn't get to watch live, but it's right there in the archives. I can always watch it on the archives. Yeah. yeah. Well, the main podcast goes up on the Mega64 channel, and then the archives, oh, yeah. that yeah, gets yeah. the after show. And we did a big after show full of uh, mm -hmm. some pretty cool Q&A, some... I know. I tried to call in during my break for that too, but you oh, guys like, you. I guess we're taking other calls, which is fine. Oh yeah, we had, a, we had a lot. Of calls. There were there were quite. <laughs> I don't think we've had that many oh, eyes on us in a yeah, long no, time, Brian. I'm, for a live show, that was a big one. I'm very happy that everybody came out to see us. If you're talking numbers, uh, we were stoked. I, I'm I'm really happy that you know we got it out there that we were doing a 500th episode and that's important because mega oh yeah War... you guys hyped it up big time well i mean it's 500 episodes how many podcasts do you know that are weekly that have 500 episodes ghost you, pilots like it's a i did a search actually and when you search podcast 500 yeah the rooster teeth podcast comes up yep some, shout out eric some inside tech uh <laughs> like techno like tech tv kind of guys that have podcasts reviewing technology stuff yeah there, there was like one oh, big Eric. there was like one big one that came up and then our uh ours i don't think it perforated some news fields yet no. but not not much really has gotten to 500 no i mean aside from like joe rogan who does three Dude, podcasts that a week is sick yeah that's the one thing is like, uh, if you do multiple once a week yeah though, like like a, um, like a normal human like what's his face the guy with the, <laughs> I, I don't stop. know about this uh, mark maron mark maron that dude Oh, uh, Eric WTF? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, that guy does like six a week because that's the only way he can be alive, I feel like. Yeah, without without, alcohol. without cocaine and, and everything going up his nose. Uh, he's past that, Brian. He's like yeah, I know, six years he, sober. He's got podcasts. Yeah, you got to have a replacement. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Podcast Five, 500 podcasts, guys. That, that, that's really cool. Thank you guys for coming out. We had three times as many viewers as we normally do, uh, and then some. Oops. So that Whoa. that was that was really something cool. That you know, for something that we wanted to be special, you guys helped us oh. make really special. So thank you. This was a laundromat and, game for sure. Played, oh yeah, definitely. I played the shit out of this at the laundromat. I first when I first moved oh. out, uh, 18 years old, got the fuck out of my parents' house. And lived with a bunch of roommates. We had no fucking washer dryer. You gotta haul your ass across town to the local laundromat. And they had a trusty single unit. Or maybe it was a dual. Because it was Puzzle Bobble and this. Or Bubble Bobble. Yeah, uh, which is is there too. no is there no puzzle bobble in here? I don't know. I have. I, I think that's a Tecmo or a Naito. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's it's Jake permanently in my cabinet at home, so that's fine if, yeah. if it's not included. Yeah, Jake that's, would definitely know that. That's definitely my favorite. Yep. Uh, All right, you guys, my break is yes. ending. Perfect. Oh, that's what I was hoping. Going. That's what I wanted to keep you but. on the phone was to the end of your break. <laughs> Yeah, Bombs but away. I want to say since evidently Eric is in the chat, shouts out to Eric when I met him at Anime Expo. He definitely does not remember me because I was so awkward and he had to like kind of make me leave. No. So you been? shouts out. Shouts out <laughs> me. Ben. This was the first time, the first time I ever had met any of you guys, and I had everything planned out that I wanted to say to like everybody except for Eric, uh -huh. and he was the one I interacted oh, with. I was so. Uh -huh awkward and uncomfortable and i just said like something about like yeah Damn. i love this one video and he oh. was like cool oh, he, eric. He, literally i remember exactly what he said he went cool did somebody else need help and i was like oh, oh jesus christ oh, I ben. Fucked up. oh no oh. you felt the shame oh. well, felt he didn't it. mean it personally you know what eric we no just he, just, very he busy. just texted me i didn't eric. take it personally i knew i was probably making him uncomfortable no. without no. Ben, ben, eric so just texted me eric. i'm looking at my fucking watch right now he just texted me yeah i remember her what a pain in the ass wouldn't leave and <laughs> eric did this in the chat so that's great 
<laughs> wow. I won't, I'm not going to read the rest because it's distracting me. There's a nuclear missile I'm about to drop here. Thanks, Ben. Hey, well, thank no you so much. No hard feelings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I guarantee you uh, this Abram is going to eat him Yoko up. Ono, evidently, so eat him up. Is out. <laughs> yeah. Later, guys. Like a couple of Sour Patch Kids, eat him up. Oh, when this beats hard. Yo, if you haven't checked out Method Man, he's done a rap about Sour Patch Kids called World Gone Sour. It's World Gone Sour, Brian. And it's on iTunes. The, lo the Lost Boys, I think? Is, is the, like, the, the tagline? No, is the, that's the tagline. Oh. And it is 100% written by Method Man and 100% about Sour Patch Kids. I don't think officially either. Like I don't think totally the, officially. You think the candy company's like, yes, please do this for no, us? No, it was 100% official. It was for the game World Gone Sour. What's a game? What's a? It's what you're playing. Are you <laughs> fucking serious? <serious? laughs> what game did the Sour Patch Company make? What game in the fucking world would the Sour Patch Company make? It was a game called World Gone Sour, where you played as Sour Patch Kids. I remember the... Is one of those free-to-play things? No, no I, I can't remember what it was. So eat them up! <laughs> I remember... We were all over it, and it was him. I remember the video. They opened up the bag, and he said, You cannot be serious right now. Oh, man, I'm going to link it in the chat. It is so good. I've listened to it at least... Four times a day, every day. Every day. Every day since I remembered for some reason that the blessed Method Man graced us with a Sour Patch Kids rap. So good. Uh, so good I had to leave. We'll be right back. Uh, we are glad you like the show. It isn't over yet. How do you like it so far? I like it a lot. All right. What I'm I was gonna... doing is just dropping a link here to how to follow Cheap Ass Gamer. I'm gonna yes, please make sure you follow the Cheap Ass Gamer Cheap -ass because gamer. you gotta get the deals. You gotta get the deals, and you know what? I didn't know they had an Instagram. Oh yeah, baby. I didn't know they had an Instagram. Then I followed them on Instagram. Got a lot of sweepstakes. A lot of really fun stuff. That's what I mainly use social media for, I feel like, now. Uh, to promote, like, we talked mm -hmm. about this on the podcast, 500 After Show, kind of yeah. like. Moving on to different forms of social media. We talked about kind of jumping off of Facebook and faces. adapting, uh, or adopting Instagram, rather. Yeah. But um, it's well, interesting. What I use social media for is so much different than what I used to. And now it's like mainly promotion, art, and shopping. Like I, I find out about stuff and I see uh, promotions on like, oh man, the Neo Geo's in yeah. stock, like on Amazon right now. Like fuck yeah, pre-order. In fact, that's how I got this was by following the cheap ass gamer uh, Twitter account. Yeah, and what's what's great is so much applause. For you know, wow, you, I love you it. might think cheap ass gamer on Instagram. I don't know how that works. Well, that's the thing. 
If you follow them, they get up to 10,000 followers. Then you can get direct links to the games right from the pictures. So we got to try to get them up to 10,000 followers. Boom. Oh, that that enables the account to do more? Is yeah, like yeah. That's account? what I'm trying to get to so we can put links instead of me having to go link in bio. Is it, yeah, because I always do link in bio. That's just an Instagram thing, right? Yeah. Oh, is this a oh, Tetris Oh, is this like a game? Tetris clone game? I should probably play. Oh, Brian, you probably should. Let's do a restart. Uh, I How wonder about if, that? yeah, if there's a, is there a normal Tetris mode? We'll be here for 10 minutes, but I could probably beat it. Well, you put it in uh, Mandarin, so I don't know. Well, we oh, can change fuck. that. It's too late. To ch too late. I'm into it. I'm in the zone now, Brian. Give me a caller. All right. Oh, fuck. Zone. I'm out of the zone, Brian. You're out of the zone. All okay, right. Okay, now I'm getting back we're into gonna, it. We're going to try our a new caller, Chuckles the Dog. Hey. Hey, hey how's it going? Hey, what's up, buddy? Good boy. It's going really good. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're a human, uh, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? Fooled uh, me. Of course he fooled you. Fooled me Tried won't be fool fooled you. again. What's this hurry up shit? You're on a time limit. Put that yeah. in the ring. Yep. Oh, you, you oh, know what? Oh, all fuck. the way to the left. Oh, I know. Not to I'm the right. I'm fucked. It's, I'm <laughs> done. I'm done, so. Tetris! I wish I was good at Tetris. Is that what you do? You call out Tetris? Oh, that's no. Yahtzee. No, when Tetris is when you get four. You know, you go, when you die, you go, Tetris! Oh. Uh, or is that Yahtzee? You want me to try? Yeah, I think, okay. Brian, you're the Tetris man. Is there a way I can figure out how just, to make this? Just, we're, we're in the mode, baby. Yeah, okay. You gotta just... It's Tetris with obstacles. You have to you blow up these, uh... Okay. I think if you just get two in those slots, you'll you'll clear that. Yeah, but you want more than that. I mean, you want to free your Zeppelin. Um, now... Oh, you can't. Okay. Is this a first-time uh, call here, Chuckles, you said? Uh, I called in like two weeks ago, I think. Okay, good to have you back. Thanks, man. Yeah. What, uh, what oh, do you yeah. think about this whole SNK Neo Geo, uh, the micro system wave, the revolution has now come to the arcade forefront, and I think this is the, ar the first, like, arcade company to do a mini system, right? Uh, they... I guess. I don't know of any others, uh... They, they did make consoles, though, didn't they? Yeah, technically, technically, but this I don't think emulates that, especially that it has a screen of its own and everything. It's definitely emulating like the arcade experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I, out the door, I want to say this was like a hundred bucks. Does that sound right? Or hundred and fifty? I can't honestly remember because I pre-ordered it a while ago. It was a hundred bucks. I want to say. Okay, and like. I don't know. That hits me in a pretty good spot. Uh, I think that's what I paid for the NES Classic. That's the only other classic I have. But I'm excited about this PlayStation Classic. And I almost feel oh, like, yeah. damn, should I go get a Super Nintendo Classic just to bring the whole collection home? That's what they want you to do. I know, but they don't even work together. This is Neo Geo, and that's Nintendo. That's what consumerism wants you to that's do. What it, but I gotta keep up with my Joneses. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There's not a lot of Super Nintendo games okay. on that system that I'm that hot about. That so, being said, you can hack that thing so easy. Yeah. This thing, I can't wait to see. It's got USB-C all over it. There's three USB-C ports on this because the controllers can plug into the sides here. One thing I really like about SNK games is how gorgeous they can be. Yeah. This game with, not with so much. With their pixel art and all that. Although this little sprite of a young man and his blimp, it's pretty gorgeous. Yeah. Looks like some. Um, <laughs> what's this imagery well, going I, on? Well, I mean, in the more of their fighting games, I guess. But is this yeah. Masonic I imagery? This looks like Freemasonry going on. It's some kind of rune inscripted upon a star in the background. Could be. Could be Illuminati stuff. This could be deep down dark web stuff. I don't know if I want to get into it. Well, Nintendo put like a uh, Soviet imagery in their games in their Tetris. So. Well, yeah. yeah. That's. Well, uh, I mean that was the that see it's a it's a people don't know about the history of gaming and the russians go way back they've been trying to infiltrate for quite some time yeah that's we, how they shouldn't let them no it's yeah. it's it's uh me and brian could be sleeper cells actually we can't shouldn't say that uh, right God. <laughs> yeah. the fbi might listen i'm so in. used to playing different tetris that i'm trying to do stuff that you cannot do um now i'm fine as a Viewer of Mega 64's content, we're here to provide weekly streams. We talked about a lot of stuff on the horizon. We can't really explain, but we've been filming on a lot of uh, next level things. Case in point, that podcast said that was quite a big surprise. I hope Damn. that the other stuff coming 
is going to be well worth the wait as well. I'm sure it will be. You guys, yeah. like, rarely disappoint, so... Thanks. That's good to hear. Chuckles is satisfied, Brian? Yeah. I think we're done with that one, right? I think that's... Yeah. I think that's enough for the puzzle fighter. Yeah. Speaking of... Do you Brian, want to switch the language back to English? You've had all the fun fighting. I want to do... The King of Fighters that I have, mm -hmm. I believe, is... 97. I think it has a few of them, doesn't it? Uh, well, no, I'm talking about arcade my arcade cabinet. You I either have 98 or 2002. And Eric? I always play Orochi. Uh, I love that character. I love his long suspenders. Iori? Iori, yeah, yeah. not Orochi. That's well, he the, turns that's into Orochi. His Iori. saga or whatever, yeah. 97 is the one that all of the... Um, the um, or is it 95 that I have? I can never no. remember. I think you have 98 or 2002. I can't. I can't remember. No, I don't have a 2000. This does not look like mine. No, it's not. This but is the extent of my uh, this has fighting, not fighting game, but uh, SNK okay. knowledge comes from uh, King of Fighters. Oh yeah. Well, what uh, a lot he? of these characters. So only the top three characters in this game are completely. Hold on, let me look at it real quick. Whoa, Andy Beauregard. Oh, well, there's Shingo. So, uh... How did I pick Andy on... What? I don't know. Oh, did you pick the team? Because this might not have let you... Yeah. yeah so, King oh. of Fighters before 98, I don't think lets you choose... You gotta do uh, team play. Yeah, it might have been 97, actually. All right, you we'll, just we'll moon the these. other guy, by the way. We'll, <laughs> uh, we'll go with these guys. You should have let the movie play at the beginning. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. All right, Standard let's, for the series to have let's three. Let's do it uh, right so I can actually... Pick my player. Oh, that's save probably. Yeah. Is that reset? Uh, I don't think there's a reset button. You uh, have to like exit, restart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. Unless then. there's a soft reset button that is in, you know. Or which is the one I think I have? It might be. I, I think it's 98. I thought it was 90. Do you, do you have 95? 95 is the first KOF. Might be then, because I went for a lot of firsts when I picked out my carts. I okay. got Metal Slug one. I got Bubble Bobble or whatever. Uh, but this doesn't look like my opening. What if one of the fighters had a gun? Slime Baby 2001. In King of Fighters 99, there was a character called Maxima whose arm turned into a gun, and he opened up his chest, and there was a cannon. Oh, my God. So, I think there's also another person who has a gun. Some of them have a gun. This is not the one I have, Brian. Nope. I'm, I'm telling you, it's either 98 or 2002. I know it's not 2002. Oh, my boy. There's Iori. But, yeah, Chuckles the dog. Any, uh, any parting words? Um, just like, uh, it's great that you got to fi Podcast 500 with uh, Mega64 Podcast, and good Dude. luck out with 300 in, uh, of PPS in a few oh, yeah. weeks or a few 300? months. 300? That'll probably be during our Resident Evil stream. Oh, wow, We'll yeah. have to do some type of fun anniversary type oh, thing. God. Oh, wait, where's Iori? My time's running out. Uh, he's in the bottom right, fuck. but he's the first fuck, character. Fuck. Got it on one second left. Oh, versus the oh, Freddy Krueger. The normal. Oh, the so one this... On one. You Brian, could. this is the guy who looks like Han from that uh, Bruce Lee film. Which Bruce? Lee? The one where he fights uh, the Han, the guy with the claws. Is it? Uh, is that uh, Fist of Fury? No, that Fist of Fury is what the U.S. called Chinese Connection. Which one was uh, the one where he goes to the tournament with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Oh, what? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Um, I don't either. Are you ta are you talking about uh, Bloodsport? No. <laughs> That's Enter the damn. Dragon? Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter the Dragon was the claw. The claw okay. fight. The claw tournament. Okay. Oh, shit. You gotta Speaking watch out for up. Choi. What's up with Choi's, like, Freddy Krueger attire? Thanks, Chuckles. Yep. See ya. Thank you, Chuck. Later. Boom. Get, get him in a... I'm, like, hard on the offense with that. Just don't give him any room to breathe, Brian. Yeah, King of Fighters is all about pressure. Pressure, pressure. Get that fucking flame up from the ground. His flame. See, that's what was cool about him is that he had a he had a ground flame. Different. Well, see, sliding attack. His rival Kaio used to have. Get it. A. And I, think in <laughs> I this got him game, when he was taunting. Also has a ground flame. Ooh. See, he's purple flames into Roshi. Get this little fucking. Come on. What if Brian, what if Brian had a gun? I own a gun. But this little fucking Freddy Krueger Wolverine wannabe sticking his tongue out like an asshole. I love the sound of stainless steel on raw flesh. flesh. Yes? Well, it said flash, but... Yeah. Raw flash, yes! <laughs> All right, Brian, can you show us 
the good game that is 98. And maybe that's the one Here, I'm, I'm thinking gonna, of. I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you which one I want. Uh, you want me to show you the one that you're thinking of? Uh, maybe. Is okay. that 98? I think it is. Also, I just want you guys in this moment to savor that wonderful box art of them all hanging out in at a party. Attire. This reminds me of, like, Evangelion will do these uh, shots of the kids in, like, fashionable clothes. Yeah. I always loved it. Yeah. And they still do it to promote new clothes. Um, new clothing lines, I should yeah, say. Yeah, so in, in this picture... Before you pick... Okay, go uh, ahead. I was going to say, in this picture, you have Heavy D... Ralph, uh, I believe that's Andy's brother, or that's <laughs> you know. Terry Bogard's brother. No, that's Terry. That's Iori Kayo. Then this is left to right. Oh, God. Yashiro. Where's Mai? Mei? Mai is, I think, behind Hydern, who's in front of Athena, and I think that's King. I remember when I bought the MVS card I have, I made sure my Terry and Iori were in it, because those are, like, the only characters I know, and that's my three-player team. Yeah. Uh, Giga Power. Pro Spec. Yeah, this, man, this was like the shit. Now, I didn't want you to pick that because I was going to ask you oh. about a character that was taken out of the uh. American King of Fighters game because he resembled a character from Akira. Oh, yeah, that's actually... Tetsuo. The character Tetsuo so from that's... Akira who has the big, giant mechanical arm. Can we see that character? Because he should be back in this version, right? Yeah. So he was taken out of all versions that aren't on a Neo Geo, I think. And that, like, you know, obviously you can't take him off the Dreamcast version. And Yeah, if you but, have the disc still. Yeah. But was the U.S. Dreamcast version... Uh, oh, yeah. It, 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 oh, okay. Yeah, the, all of the current launches of the game came out. Oh, yeah, we have to watch this intro. Is this... Uh, not a Garu game? How many Garu games are there? There's only one Garu. Okay. Well, technically, Fatal Fury is called Garu. Okay. But, but Garu Mark of the Mark Wolves, of the Wolves is, is only the game. one and only yeah. one they always refer to. Um, while this is opening, though, Brian, let yes. me throw you a little hit. Check this fucker out, baby. See what that is? Yeah. Help me open that fucking thing up. Ooh. Look at the sweet, sweet design coming to the shop.mega64 store uh this friday that's the 26th yeah the hacking in progress shirt it really does justice to see this thing in the flesh uh we blasted through everything we had at cons this summer but we're bringing our new print hot off the presses i'm taking this one home we're putting these on the site friday so if you're watching this later it's the 26th but if you're live, you know where it's at. Yeah. Get on that uh, store if you wanted one of those. Because they're probably going to go quick. If it fits your aesthetic. You know what I'm saying, Brian? He does. Oh, I do. Oh, he does. Oh, I do. Um, now, while he's on, I'm going to switch over to a wireless mic here. A wireless mouse, I should say. And drop a call in. Let's talk to Lucid. Lucid. Yo, what up? You're on with the Neo Geo fanboys. Brian is here. He's teaching me a whole hell of a lot that I didn't know. And did you pick the Akira Oh, shit. Oh, no. yeah, I haven't seen God the Neo Geo it. in a while. <laughs> okay, uh, pause. You can have one kiss. Brian, you didn't pick the character. The whole point of getting to no. this thing was to get the character. Wait, what are you talking about? It was a glitch in the Matrix. No, I mean... I, 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 I'm sitting here and looking like some kind of dip no, shit with my fine. dick in my hand no, no, and I'm holding the fine. mic. No, Lucid no. called in and now he's no, dude, fucking waiting fine, around. Dude, it'll be fine. Watch. This I'm fine. Calls, Listen, motherfucker they calls they every watch. week. Shh, 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 Doesn't have shit to say probably, but I gotta fucking sit through it again. You're gonna pick the fucking character and we're gonna get to the thing. You got it right? And we're coming back, okay? Hold on, what am I holding? I'm holding my dicks in my hand. I'm holding on to my butt for a fucking second. Hold on, fucking just a sec. One more. Wait, Let's get back to it. We're coming okay, back shit. strong. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Brian and I are coming back from a quick little break here. Yeah, and there you go. Let's go with Lucid. You're on with the boys. Uh, Brian, hey, what are you up, man? a new character? Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Looks like Wolverine. I'll yeah, so that's, it up. that's the guy I was talking about. Uh, that's Maxima. One of his uh, arms turns into a gun. Oh, hell yeah. Maxima is about combo? to show us his, uh, his body parts here. Oh, he opened his chest up a little. He showed bombs. If everyone could just He's type showing his show body bombs. Uh -huh. so 
If everyone in the chat people? could type show bobs to Brian, and then maybe uh, he'll get, uh, God, what's this guy's name? Maxima Whip? Uh, get, no, get... his name is Maxima. Oh, okay. And then the character you're playing has some kind of drill type arm. Well, yeah, so that's what... See, that's... Oh, God, he does look like Tetsuo. Yeah. So that's the guy you're playing against. Yeah, now I don't know if I can do any of his supers, and also this isn't a console version, so I can't stop and get the... Uh... She's dressed like an SS soldier as well. Yeah, so this is Whip. She's great. Um, she is the daughter of another character. No, she is part of the crew for the Akari Warriors. God so... damn it. The animation of her sway is so brilliant. Oh, yeah. That, that's what and I love then, about these fighting games. It's just the fucking... I'm just gonna go ahead and pause it. In the background, look at all of this. All of those people are characters that are from previous games in the series. Yeah. So the guy on the left who's eating a whole bunch is the president of of, of uh, King of Fighters who puts it on every year. That's Zhang Fish. He's known for eating. Oh, and then like that's the Lin, Khan. who technically is in this game, but not in this stage. So this is like why I see, you know... The attention to detail that goes into like uh, Skullgirls, like the Lab Zero games, yeah. crew put so much into their backgrounds and I know that inspiration comes from stuff like this. It's cool to see the the love of this stuff. And Brian, you do love this stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I just love it because it's more than just, you know, what's here. Okay, Poor Lucid already. waited through all that shit talking I did and he's sitting there now. No, it's fine, man. Talk your shit. It's your show. I know, but I, I feel not... bad. We're we're going off about. I'm gonna I'm gonna cool Brian's jets on the on the franchise for a sec. He's gonna wiggle his finger. But uh, how are you doing, Lucid? What are you up to today? Hey, I'm doing okay. I came back. Like I haven't called in like almost a hundred episodes, so I'm I'm gonna come back all clean and shit. Oh hell yeah, I dog! Mean... Oh, wait, have we? Have, has it been that long since we talked to you? Yeah. It's been a long time, long like, I time. haven't called right. in a while. So, well, I'm Shit. glad to hear you. It sounds like you're in good health and in good spirits, sir. Thank you, man. The best things oh, in life are free, baby. But you can yeah. save them for the birds and bees. I want Fuck money. Daddy. You know what I'm Fuck saying? Daddy. Yeah. Did you play that lottery? Congratulations on 500, man. Well, thanks, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you, uh... Lucid, did you, were you enthralled by that lottery that just happened a 1.6 billion something payout oh shit yeah like everybody in fucking toronto was like is like going to buffalo trying to buy a ticket <laughs> 1.6 translate so, that to 2 billion you know everybody trying to get that money up even but the it, it seems came down. pretty stupid because i don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with two bill yeah what do you want <laughs> that kind of headache for you know so many people it was so big so many people were talking about it yeah. i got i got tickets very rarely, but I went in on halvesies. I, I put five bucks down. Why me, not? Me and my girl got uh, five tickets. We put ten bucks in. And then I didn't even pay attention to the reading. It happened last night. So yeah. I, I texted her this morning like, hey, the reading happened. Make sure we didn't like win. I know I phrased it weird. Make sure we didn't win. But really, let's make sure <laughs> we didn't win and like we're not missing out on something. So... She looked this morning, we found out we each won a dollar in oh, uh, in earnings. So not only did we break even the ten dollars we bought the tickets worth, we won twelve, so we each gained a dollar. So I guess it works, guys. You can play the lottery and come out on top. Double knockout? Some people came out real real high on top. But it was How many split. people won the uh the 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 uh, I don't know. Pot. No no one won the mega and no one got it all to themselves. It was split up amongst a lot of people. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I don't think one person is going to get a billion dollars. I no, think a no. bunch of people are just going to get a small little cut, a couple mil here and there. My you know. my local website that when I checked the numbers, they had all the tickets that were sold in California that won listed and someone in san diego actually did win like you know probably like five hundred thousand bucks oh shit! pay off some of them bills son that would be nice i mean you pay off your student loans pay off a couple of uh, bills here and there bills it's gone after there. that shit. and taxes but you know what boom 500 500 000. i make that last a couple years couple years yeah you know i get my ground operational procedures off the business level out of the 
clouds into reality, start up a couple franchises, be able to sell a couple people Shit, in. Shit, I fell for that. Once I start this whole pyramid scheming, bro, I'm gonna need people at the bottom of that pyramid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm Bring not gonna be in. one of those people. <laughs> I, and I need Canadian money filters to oh, just yeah. clean that cash as it travels. We'll go through a New Jersey board or something. We'll figure it out. But that's five, six years down the road. That's my plan anyway. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, you tell me. It's either that or start a cult out in the Nevada desert. But I think the cult might work. It you could. know, you go to the, uh, California City. It's abandoned. You yeah. know, it's all desert. But, you know. Yeah. I give it four years before it gets oh, into good. like a weird sex yep. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's neither here nor there because, man, I only came out a dollar on top. I'm not going to complain, but could have done better just saying mm, you know you win and you lose yeah you know you can't really do much about it yeah that's i like the I like your shiny disposition lucid you're very lucid yeah. in the call were you formerly known as lucid dreamer and you shortened it yeah i just shortened it that's i was like I why put the dreamer just put lucid See, everybody I, knows now lucid. now it's why dawning not? on me we're connecting again uh and I remember a lot of Lucid Dreamer conversations back in the old studio. You did used to call quite often then. Yeah. But for some uh, reason, I feel like it's, we're stepping right back into it. Like, it hasn't been that long. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I have work, and then, like, I've been busy for a couple of years, so now I'm Hell just, yeah. like, chilling. Well, I got uh, everything straight now, so, like, well, thank you, man. good, you know? Thank I you. did have a question, though. I would love to hear it. All the way from Canada. Um, yeah, you used to be a skateboarder, right? Hell like, yeah. You, you know what? And stuff. If you if you skateboard once, you you still are a skateboarder at heart, I feel. I feel like you yeah. get your feet on that board and you ride with that wind in your face. You uh you're a boarder for life, brah. So I still yeah. carry my skateboard. It's in the parking lot. I mean, from the time I got a driver's license, I continued to bring my skateboard in the truck with me at all times because uh it's that it's that what if spontaneous like yo my friends are gonna call me up we're gonna go skate now that hasn't happened in like 10 years skate boys <laughs> so it's, it's pretty good for transportation and whatnot but yeah man i love skating uh i still would skate if i had some more free time I, w I was gonna ask, like, uh, I was getting into, like, watching clips again, because I haven't watched in a couple years. I'm some watching, like, I see, like, old Supreme stuff. That's I'm watching some good Chocolate shit. and Girl and, and a Flip and all that stuff. I was wondering, like, what was your favorite, like, skate movie, like, in the uh, back down, in the day? Hands down. The definitive answer for me, the film that shaped me in so many fucking ways probably one of the big reasons i'm sitting here is toy machines welcome to hell and that film and the music in that film and the skating of jamie uh and Alyssa steamer and fucking that bail sequence oh my fucking god and templeton in that scene uh <laughs> so much of toy machines welcome to hell is like embedded in me uh, that that stands out as a huge number. Honorable mention, I got a copy of Big Brothers number two on VHS uh, alongside that Welcome to Hell copy. I got, uh, there's a good Birdhouse, uh, the end video I liked. Um, you should trade a lot of VH1 or uh, 411 video magazine was big. Yeah. I mean, this is like back when I was skating, it was VHS days, so these are what I had. And, uh, and now, like, you were talking about clips, it's all about, like, Twitter and Instagram and shit. If you find these skate companies or these people who collect the skate art, a lot of the old stuff, a lot of the new stuff, too, you can find bitchin' clips on social media now, man. Like, you're saying, like... Yeah, the clips are crazy now, so man. Like, Our buddy I'm Matt seeing... Bruce is filming some skate footage and stuff for his stuff. It's awesome. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, like, seeing, like, 11-year-old kids jumping off of, like... Oh, it's 15 crazy. Uh, stairs and all this shit. I'm like, wow, this is like kids are going crazy yeah. now. Like, kids, ki you know, I always had fun out there just fucking all in a couple stairs and maybe doing a fucking rail or, you know, me. not rail, a curb just or trying two. To finish with the super. But, um, the, uh, the, 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 the level of difficulty that, uh, 
is attempted and pulled off now is crazy. I mean, that's with all sports. You just see someone set the bar higher, and then someone comes along with the next generation and is like, oh, that's possible? Oh, I can do that? Shit. And then they set the bar higher than that. And, like, that's the progression, too. But, uh... Yeah. yeah this Were you good, ever sponsored? Good like, shit. Oh, from fuck a local no, skate no, shop telling, or whatever? I'm or telling not? you, like, I skated around with my friends, rode the trolley around, got in trouble, uh, ran from cops, and... Basically hit up a, a couple schools that we liked, a couple public spots, parking lots, Costco. When I got older, it became more about skating at night and skating around parking structures and shit like that and finding spots to kind of break into and skate. But it was always yeah. like, I was big into like grinding curbs, board slide, tail slide, nose slide, can't land a kickflip to save my fucking life. I can ollie... <laughs> like uh, two inches off the ground most of the times now that i've worked on my leg strength as an adult now yeah. i can ollie so much higher i figured this out like a year ago oh like, really holy fuck I, yeah i used to never be able to get like more than like a foot off the ground i was really really if i was trying i was really bad at getting high off an ollie so i would always ollie off stuff but now the I other mean, day i threw a couple out in the yard and it's like oh fuck dude Getting high off your own. Well, I got some quads now on me, dude. I got some fucking glutes on this boy. So, you know, we're, we're pushing some wood. I can get it up. You know what I'm saying? No V-pill, no little blue helpers today, no baby. No for her. I get that up on my own, son. And I'm riding hot at about 8.5 inches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're talking about board length, yeah. Brian. Oh, yeah. 8.5. I'm a big fat boy. I like a yeah, wide like board. Old... Well, I got big feet. Yeah. You know, there's a... Well, we won't get to show feet. We'll get to that later. Uh, anyway, so you think you throwing your feet up on that board and uh, giving some practice runs uh, the next couple of weeks? You gonna go skating or what? Uh, I, I I'm I'm trying to do my tray flip. I'm still trying to learn a tray flip. I'm like 25. And I'm still trying to learn nice. some tricks. Put that under my belt. But like, I, I'm not doing it for like clips or whatever i'm just doing it just yeah for just fun, do it for know? fun a couple of years ago i started going on my lunch break with a buddy at work just for fun and for exercise honestly to a local park at a ymca and uh just hitting other fucking i filmed some stuff on my youtube video from there but just hitting the curved bowls and the fucking um the nice coping at the top Ooh. of the uh, uh and practicing your drop-ins that was the other thing once i got older i got access because I had a fucking car. Exactly. To some vert stuff. Not vert, but some bowls and some, um, I guess, yeah, I guess it's all technically vert. Yeah. Uh, it's not, I, I, It doesn't get real vertical. And then, like, there was a good six months where we had a pool that my group of friends destroyed in my buddy's backyard. Jeez. We fucked his parents' pool up. I mean, they had an old pool. It was drained. We convinced them to let us skate it. We got six months of everyday fucking hard use i mean road hard put away wet every fucking day the tiles were fucking slammed any vent uh valve vent light coping anything was just fucked i mean skateboarding <laughs> fucks shit up yeah that's, that's why yeah. businesses are constantly putting measures in <laughs> front of their curbs and handrails to keep you from doing it but uh that's the beauty of being a fucking little piece of shit skateboarder kid. Yeah. You don't give two shits. You're all about seek and destroy, skate and destroy. And uh anarchy in the USA, baby. So I know a lot of people are hot on this new Jonah Hill movie, mid nineties. Yeah. And I yeah, really want to see looks it. Cool as fuck. Sounds I cool. Just heard an interview that he gave. I had no idea that Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross did the soundtrack to this. Oh. And I'm a big fan of not only Nine Inch Nails, but the Social Network soundtrack and the stuff that they did in Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, now not only did I want to go see the movie before, because that Maniac uh, show that Jonah Hill did on Netflix was really good. I like that. I, I, I'm just, like, Wrong even color. more apt to go see this now that I hear the soundtrack is dope. So The soundtrack's dope. Like, you like they it? even got the pros in there. Even the, the main kid is, like, semi-pro with, like, IC and uh, Illegal Civilization. So, like, That's they so all know sick. how to skateboard and shit. That's so sick. See, I've never even heard of these companies now. Like, back in my day, I, when I was a fucking poser and I bought my first wallet chain, I was obsessed with Alien Workshop. So was Sean. And then uh, once I was actually into skating and, like, watching shit, it was just fucking Jamie Thomas, man. So all my friends were in love with Thomas. Zero. Before Zero, this was, for me, Toy Machine. Um, but, I, yeah, 
I don't even know. Is uh, is Venture Trucks still around? Is Independence still going? I mean, everybody cops Independence. Like those were always the cheap, it, affordable, just long-lasting, durable. I rock Independence right now. Yeah, like Independence are good Spitfires, and then so like Spitfire's whatever board you want, like anybody gets whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, there's so much shit out there now. It, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, well, hey man, could you talk some skate? Uh, Good to talk to you, man. We'll have to have Frank on and we'll play some Skate 2. Or Skate 1. Ooh. I have on 360. Mm. The classic Skate. Brian's getting so into it. We're having a blast. Uh, I'm glad to hear your voice again, Lucid. Hang tough and I'll talk to you soon. Thank I'll you. talk to you soon, man. See you, man. Bye! You know, today's been a show of... Reuniting. A show of discovery. We're... Sitting here with a brand new piece of hardware. Brian, I think you're falling in love. You want this motherfucker back, don't you? Look you me. It displays the logo yeah, I know. Isn't on that cool? screen. It, that that is cool. Maybe there'll be like a firmware upgrade and you can get some kind of like I don't know. You could. It'd be cool if it was like a health bar or something. But that, that would take away from the original the original use. So as Brian drifts silently into gamer heaven. I will say adieu, alvida zen, goodbye. Is that? I don't think uh, the middle one was the right. <clears throat> I don't think that worked. But uh, hey, that's why we love the show because not everything does work. Where's the song that we picked to leave on, Brian? I can't even find it. What's oh it? God, I did. Oh God. Oh. I did, and I shall. Did you win? No. Oh, it's round two. Well, maybe let's not tease it. Let's let him get to the end of round two. The chat says... Oh, the chat always wants oh, more. Oh, the chat says they want more. The end of round two. Can Brian, concentrating as he is, seal the deal here with B. Jenner? Uh, B. Jeanette. B. Jeanette. She's a pirate. Oh, she is a pirate. Let's see. Does Brian get it in? Oh, now, you've got a very Ada Wong-like dress on there. Wait, which? You're both pirates. There we go. This is Wait not... a minute. Wait just a um, goddamn minute, Brian. 17 seconds. There 15. we go. 15. Uh... 13. She dodged it. Yeah. It was a dodge. I wanted to finish on that super, but oh well. That was, uh, unfortunately... <laughs> That's how we do, and that's how the wheel spins. Until next time, Brian.
What? Phone Are we back? Is the phone ringing? What? Sounds like the phone's ringing, Brian. Oh. I don't. Oh. Special tree. I thought I was out of here. I thought oh. we were about to go home. And someone's on the line. I guess I'll answer it. Transferring a call, I guess. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I don't know what's going on. You know, sometimes you call Hi, and they don't answer. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is a prank call. Uh, yo, is this Kush Clinic? Yes, it is. Hi, I was looking for a strain specific uh, new earth or new world. Is that what I'm here with my cousin? We're uh, we're medical patients. We want to come on down. Yeah, I, I heard you guys got a new strain out. It's called a uh, new earth or, or like new new world. We're just trying to track this one down. Mm, no, we don't have that strain. It's might be under. If that's the sativa name? Yeah. What about an Indica a new Neo Geo? I think it's called New Earth under the other. No Neo Geo? Let me see. Okay. Hmm. You know, if we don't, we're going to have to hit up the um, the bar. Go yeah. the liquid option. Yeah. Which yeah, I, you no, know. I don't have that one. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, shit. Do you have the tincture? Uh, it's called Multicart. The no what? It's a. I think it's called. It's like a tincture that's called Multicart. It sounds very big in the warehouse there. No, I don't, I don't think we have, have that brand. brand. Hmm. Okay. Well, we don't want to take up too much of your time. We're really just looking for this one strain, this Neo Geo. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. No, it's no fault of your own. The new world's here. We're gonna find it. Uh, thank you very much. It, you're no, no delivery. Have a good one. I'm yeah. sorry. Say, say say again. Oh, we lost her. Well, Brian, you win some and you lose some.